everybody. Welcome back to another Rosh Reviews where today we are in a 2013 Holden VESS wagon. And this thing is just absolutely bonkers because listen to the noise. We got a six speed manual, a good old V8 up front in this wagon. You gotta love this thing, mate. Oh, yes. Now, we do first gotta say a huge thank you to Next Ride for loaning us this particular SS wagon because this is for sale. A link for them is in the description below. And it's got a six speed manual, makes noises like this. Go and buy it. <laughs> Just do yourself a favor. Oh, yeah, I love this thing. Now, firstly, you absolutely have to love holding what the Aussies were doing here with these SS wagons because, man, you just got so much practicality in this thing for a family. You know, you can chuck the dog in the back, kids are in the back seats, and you can still make noises like this and run your own cogs. There isn't many cars that you can do that in, especially at this price point. And, you know, you got this six liter L77 V8 up front. This thing makes 270 kilowatts and over 530 Newton meters. So yeah, rear wheel drive. This is a lot, a lot of fun. This particular one is basically stock, but it does have a aftermarket X-Force exhaust system, I believe. And it sounds rather good. circle is all right and again you know you just get on to it <laughs> popping and banging out the back mate oh it is just so sweet the t56 just sounds fantastic and rowing your gears in this big old wagon, it puts a smile on my dial, I'll tell you that much. Now these wagons, they were shown off between 2010 and 2013. And I do have a lot of respect and admiration for Holden for making these not just SV6s because you want to have the V8, you want to have that manual, and they let you do it, which is, the way it should be listen to this thing and it was a bit of a shame because ford really missed the boat we had the xr6 turbo utes you know we had the g6es she had the barra turbos in them uh you know we had quite a lot of cool stuff but we didn't have a barra turbo wagon we only had a naturally aspirated one and I know you can whack a turbo on it and do whatever you want, but they should have made an XR edition in the wagon. They never did. It's a shame. They even did make an HSV R8 Tourer wagon. So that is so damn cool because, you know, FPV never made a wagon. We never even had a Turbo Barra variant. And Ford missed the boat there because I reckon uh, FPV wagon with a turbo barra would have been so sick. Now let's just touch on price here because this is really where Holden has a massive win. These things were not that expensive, especially when they came out. You know, we're talking around 57 grand, you know, 60 grand with a couple of options here. That's pretty damn reasonable. And the fact you're getting a big V8, it's rear wheel drive, it's bloody fun, it's in a six speed manual if you want it that way. You can still have all that practicality and still have a fun car. It's hard to find that in any other manufacturers. You gotta be going with the big boys. Audi RS6 comes to mind. Uh, you know, they even have the C63 wagon, but those cars, we are talking significantly more money. And the fact that they were building this locally here in Australia 
with the VA, manual, rear wheel drive, the noise. Of this thing. <laughs> You're not gonna get that anywhere else for this price money. You won't. Now on the used market, these have slowly gone up in value because of course, production is no longer running. People like these things, you know, they were locally made, they're fun to drive. They're sitting around that twenty-five dollars to $35,000 right now. And I still feel like that's a reasonable amount of money for one of these cars because A, they are just a boatload of fun, even though these things are a boat, but B, you know, they're pretty reliable, these V8s, you know, they're not the most reliable thing on the planet, but they definitely will get you to A to B, and you will put 250, 300,000 Ks on these things pretty easily. Really, the interior is the major letdown of this vehicle, and the seats in particular, uh, really, I don't like sitting in them. But the car itself, I like the practicality. I don't mind the style of the wagon in these VE ones. And, you know, we got Brembo brakes on this car all around. It's rear wheel drive again. You know, you got the traction control button right here. If you want to turn that off and take a quick trip to Mexico, you can do that in this thing. And you can still take the kids to school, which is so much fun. Now apparently, these wagons actually do have a 50-50 weight distribution, you know? I don't know how true that is, but that is what Australian Car Reviews told me. <laughs> and coming up to this corner, let's find out, because you drop it down in gear, you know, it doesn't feel that bad. Look, you do have quite a bit of roll, because you got a lot of weight up front, and it's heavy, this thing. But it does feel pretty damn controllable. If you had a nice set of coilovers in this car, mate, it would really settle down and it feels balanced, it really does. The steering, it is too light. You know, I always say this, you know, the, the VE, it's too light. Uh, it's responsive enough, it really is. But it's the fact that this has got standard suspension you just wafting all over the place when you turn in this thing. So, you know, really needs coilovers when you get in one of these cars and that really settles them down. But you are gonna sacrifice your ride quality a little bit. You're getting still that practicality of the sedan. You can chuck five mates in here. And then you've also got that massive rear boot, which man, take this thing camping. If you wanted to, you really could do it. You know what I mean? Chuck a mattress in the back have a swag, Bob's your uncle, mate. Now, obviously the biggest negative, especially nowadays, is the fuel consumption in one of these things because it's a big old car, got a big old motor, and these things like to drink. So, you know, claimed it around that 12.2 liters, 12 and a half liters per 100 Ks, it's thirsty. And realistically, you're more than likely, especially in a manual, going to be pulling higher than that. I would say, you know, probably that 15 liters per 100 Ks. And that's before you do any tuning, put a cam in this thing, like, which you gotta do if you're gonna get one, of course. But, <laughs> but yeah, you don't buy this thing for its practicality. You buy it for its awesome, awesome noise. Yep. <laughs> yes there are a million things you can complain about with this car you know it's dated it's uncomfortable these seats like it doesn't look all that nice you can go on and on it's a boat it's a slug whatever stock but at the end of the day you are buying this thing because it's a piece of aussie history it's a manual V8 rear wheel drive wagon that makes these noises. Like, you can't get that anywhere else for 30 grand. You can't. And, you know, it's fun to drive. It is. 
And the fact that you've got so much potential of tuning this thing, it just leaves the door wide open to constantly upgrade, constantly customize, and never get tired of this thing. That really is the beauty of Aussie cars. Now, zero to 100 people, we are pulling up on this back road. Um, I don't actually know what the wagon is claimed at, but we got our draggy and uh, we're gonna find out. So I have turned uh, traction control off, reset, and let's just go. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you put traction control off, I think. So, it definitely was skidding. Uh, we definitely didn't get the best time there, but let's have a look. Still, zero to 100 was done in 6.4 seconds, and shoot, that seems pretty damn quick to me. Like, 6.4 in a manual big wagon, like, and we were losing traction. That's not half bad. If you actually had the perfect launch and you know you had that perfect balance without spinning the wheels like I did, uh, I reckon this thing would be, you're in the fives, easy. Easily in the fives, wow. Not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today, guys. So look, a huge, huge thank you to Next Ride for loaning me out this particular SS wagon because man, I haven't had one on the channel yet. This thing is absolutely badass. Six liter V8, manual rear wheel drive. The noises, you just gotta love this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We will see you on that next video. Oh yeah.